Hi everyone, welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle in Minneapolis. This is my reaction channel where normally I react to action and superhero movies that I'm viewing for the first time in order to understand the inside jokes and references in WandaVision. But tonight I'm taking a break from the MCU and continuing the Batman story with Batman Returns. I'm actually pretty excited to watch this one with you guys because full disclosure, I have seen this movie um, possibly even a couple of times, although it's been many, many, many years. I remember very little about the storyline. Uh, I remember like Danny DeVito floating in like a little upside down umbrella, or maybe that was like the baby version of him. Um, and then I remember, of course, Michelle Pfeiffer falling and landing and then the cats licking her. And then her kind of badass scene with the whip, like who can forget that? Uh, but beyond that, I don't remember much more. So I think we'll have fun. It's too cold and icy to go to the liquor store, so I don't have a drink tonight, and I'm kind of sad about that, but I have iced tea. Oh, and I have Dots pretzels to snack on. I know it's rude to eat on camera, and I'll try to edit out all of my crunching, but these are too good to let sit in the cupboard. Have you guys tried these? Seriously. Not a sponsorship, but if they're ever so inclined. Anyway, let's get started. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Oh my god. Don't let him eat the cat. That's not good. Oh wait, this is Tim Burton too. Nice. Okay. So I wore my cat t-shirt for Michelle Pfeiffer. Hello, kitty. That has like a bolt on it so the kid can't get out that's kind of creepy it really makes you go jesus what's in there that's very cool visually wow uh-oh he forgot his speech can she get it to him it's <laughs> creepy that the eyes are loose that's so weird that visually that's so cool oh sitting by himself on Christmas that is kind of sad that's a very cool shot I wonder if they still have the storyboard for that that mu they must have had a really cool storyboard for that <laughs> on a unicycle with a machine gun <laughs> Do you want fire? I'll give you fire. Oh no, wear glasses. The Batman. Or is it just Batman? <laughs> Something tells me that's a discussion a lot of people have had. <laughs> ah, she wants his toy. I like her. Oh! Whoops! <laughs> Stood in the wrong place. That's so... Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my gosh. You totally see the seeds of that Nightmare Before Christmas and this his style. So cool. Simple stuff that the good people of Gotham take for granted. <laughs> the black spittle exactly is very gross. Am I gonna I think you have to come all the way back to the office and let you remember to bring home the Bruce Wayne file because the meetings are oh, that's actually not a bad apartment. It's kinda cute. Um well um I figured your password was Geraldo, your Chihuahua, and it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but instead of generating power, it'll sort of be sucking power. Love the light with her glasses. This makes the shadow so great. You mean intimidate me 
Bully me if it makes you feel big. I mean, it's not like you can just kill me. Actually, mm. it's a lot yeah, like Yeah, probably. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. Here come the kitty cats. Oh, like, <laughs> chewing on her? Ouch. <laughs> She's had a rough day. Your boss will be asking you to stay after work for a candlelight staff meeting for two. <laughs> no horrible advertisement. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Even the cat's like, what the hell? Oh, don't ruin your dollhouse. <laughs> okay, I do miniatures, so that hurts. <laughs> I don't like to see that. I don't know if that's going to be enough to make a whole suit, though. It doesn't look very big. That'd be so hard to sew, that stuff. Oh, my gosh. Nice. <laughs> no, the, I like the way they changed the uh, neon sign. That's cool. At least he's cute to the baby. <laughs> oh, they're going to make him a hero. All right. Makes sense. Oh, so there's a little connection there between them. So, but if he was born in at at home, he might not have any record of his birth. He might not find anything. So, what is he looking for? Hmm? So maybe there's a big inheritance somewhere that he can claim. The lighting again on that is so great. That's a great angle, too. <laughs> he likes what he sees. <laughs> Bruce, such a late mother. Who'd have thought Selena had a brain to damage? Oh, that's mind. a dig. Wow. She I wonder what they used to coat the streets with. That looks pretty good. The number of like really amazing shots, like that angle behind, like that's so great. Is it a mackerel? <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> oh, geez. Just so unappealing in every single way. <laughs> Just so. Like the spittle and the oh, so nasty. Glove thingies on you. Our research tells us that voters like fingers. <laughs> voters like fingers. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> could be worse. My nose could be gushing blood. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no 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 no. Ow. Ow. Can we get him some like normal clothes rather than just a really disgusting, dirty union suit? You, Oswald Cobblepot, filling the void. I'd like to fill her void. Ew. Fly those Oswald. Teach her my French flipper trick. <laughs> That's naughty. <laughs> Poodle is so cute. Carrying a grenade. Okay. <laughs> I love the little poodle. Ah, it's so smart. <laughs> oh, that yikes. <laughs> this is another great shot. That's so visually cool. 
That was so great. Wrap it around herself. I love that. Meow. <laughs> In both her and Danny DeVito, the, their physicality is so specific and so complete for the characters. Like, they've just thought through the physicality of it so great. How could you? I'm a woman. <laughs> yeah, you didn't fall for that, dude. <laughs> I mean, look at the the flow of that set piece around them. It's so great. Oh, Ripped my outfit. Oh, she did dig a, dig her claws into him. Yeah, that would hurt. Although, why would why would that part of his suit be exposed in that way? It's such a seems like it's such an odd thing. Not really. <laughs> well, cat scratches actually hurt really bad sometimes, so if you got scratched with something like that, see, you probably wouldn't be really turned on, but I could see why you might be turned on by that. <laughs> see, look at that again is another great shot. Like, Don't hurt the birdie. Oh, jeez. Those are some killer claws, man. They say, don't hurt the kitty. Let's just leave the pets alone. We won't go there yet. I want to play an integral part in his degradation. <laughs> I mean, look at this. The physicality is so great. They're so, like, they're so, they're both so into it. I mean, that's what I love about it. You, you got kind of a, kind of a dark side, don't you? <laughs> just a little. That's a great coat, man. Super cool. You know, I don't just like trees. I'm an actress as well. Oh, I never would have guessed. What is that thing? <laughs> the poodle's like, that's mine. You're going to think of me as a uh, Norman Bates, uh, Ted Bundy type. And, uh, well, you might not let me kiss you. Smooth. So that's convenient. He just looks and there she is. Right across in the building, right across from where he happens to be. Uh oh. I mean, that's gorgeous. That swirl. I mean. Poor thing just keeps falling. This is another of those how many cars can we crash in one movie things. So basically they've learned from the Joker in the first one how to uh, take over the airwaves. Oh, I think it's Pretty much over now. He probably could have saved it if he hadn't done that. It reminds me of that big rubber duck that was, where was that, Hong Kong? And various other places. He's going to embrace himself, I guess. These are the names of the firstborn sons of Gotham City. Oh, uh, that's what those lists are. I don't think the penguins are going to like a dead body floating in their little pool. But yeah, this is the first scene that's actually looked contemporary to like the when the movie was made. All of the scenes previous to this have it felt very stylized, very kind of 50s or 60s or even Art Deco. But this is the first scene that's mainly just because of her outfit it has looked very 80s and not in a negative way. I mean, she clearly looks great and she could look wear that today and look fantastic. Fall through action. It's okay. I had to go home and uh, feed my cat. Again, <laughs> actually. Semi hard, I'd say. <laughs> That's a good line. Not you and Max. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Max. 
Good God, no. Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. I guess it can be even deadly. <gasps> oh. They both just did it. Does this mean we have to start fighting? No. Let's go outside. Oh dear. They they just saved each other there. <laughs> she still looks great, even mussed up like that. <laughs> I love the little penguin guys with their little hats on. So are the little ones? Are those real penguins? They, they a lot of them look real. <laughs> like I assume the bigger ones are like animatronics but maybe none of them are and I'm just wishful thinking because I'm enjoying the movie <laughs> the monkey's got some bad news for you <laughs> they all got their little uniforms on and their little helmets <laughs> I love the little penguins so I have to look up like what was real penguins and what was Little, I don't know that animatronics were that were they that good at this point. I mean, it's certainly not CGI, I suppose. Ooh, look at them all; they're so cute, cute but deadly. That's really cool with those statues like that. It's a very, really, a really interesting combination of shots. Oh, they're so well trained. <laughs> it's a little poodle. He's so cute. The dog better end up living, because if they kill that little poodle, that's going to make me mad. You know I don't like to see the dogs get hurt. Bye. Bye-bye, little penguins. Or are they all going back into where he is? There's so much of this movie I don't remember. I don't remember this part, the penguins, but the, penguin, the little penguins running around at all. Or especially not the little lady with the poodle. <laughs> She's so mellow about it. Oh, see ya. Not sticking around for whatever's coming. Oh, and <laughs> chopped a little ducky's head off. That's too bad. Yeah, that's a good point. Who's holding the umbrella? He doesn't need an umbrella. He's got something else. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, is he calling all the penguins? <laughs> the monkey's like, how dare you? That's great, visually, too, man. I don't think it's going to work if it's been in the water. Do, do they work if you get the what? I didn't think they did. Oh, it's her. Yes, that's appropriate. And she wants you dead. Oh, now he knows who he is, too. Are they both going to have to die? Selena Kyle. You're fine. <laughs> well, boo hoo. Oh, dear. That's an extreme way to do it. Like, couldn't she have just, like, whipped, you kill him with her whip or something? Like, Goodness gracious. Still alive. And as disgusting as ever. <laughs> it's kind of sad, his story. As repulsive as he is. So those look like there might actually be people in those little costumes. Ooh, is she still there? Oh. Isn't that her cat? Maybe she'll come and get him from it. Goodwill toward men. And women. Where is she? We gotta see her. She's there somewhere. Here she is. Another, it's a great ending shot too. Such a great movie. Oh my God. You know, it's funny. I don't, I don't remember enjoying Batman Returns so much when I first saw it, um, but it came out in 1992, which was the year I graduated from high school. So I probably was too young to appreciate the artistry that went into it. There are some amazing, beautiful visual moments that are straight from Tim Burton's just crazy mind. You see right 
where he gets that style from. Um, Danny DeVito is so complete in his physicality, his posture, his gait, his facial expressions, his voice. I mean, everything is just so specific and detailed um, and so universally unappealing. Like, it's rare that actors embrace the ugliness of a character as much as Danny DeVito does in this film. It, he's not afraid to be revolting. Like he, he revels in it. He loves the ugliness of it. It's amazing. He really should be lauded more for the quality and intensity of his acting here. And Michelle Pfeiffer is just amazing as Catwoman. I mean, what do you even say about that? <laughs> so cool, so slick, but she's also like not afraid to smear her lipstick and look messy. I mean, she was obviously just dedicated to going 100% to, for this role. I mean, the two of them together on screen too are amazing. I love that there's only like, what, two scenes that they share? But yeah, it, they really are what makes this film. It's funny because, you know, you almost feel bad for Michael Keaton that he doesn't have that much meat to chew on when playing Batman. I mean, it's nothing against him as an actor. I mean, he's hilarious in Mr. Mom. It's one of my favorite movies. Beetlejuice also, he gets to go completely crazy 100%. Um, and he can do that as an actor. Um, it's just that Bruce Wayne just is such a quiet and stoic hero. And it just forces him to like meet out these little moments of emotion and character. And like you see that in the dance scene with Selena. I mean, their connection is pretty intense, uh, but every character moment just gets interrupted by the action. They never get to be fulfilled. Um, and, and I'm curious now to see subsequent Batman films now, because I want to see if there's any more of those moments where you get to learn about Bruce Wayne's inner life more. I know we're going to see act other actors tackling the role. So I'm really interested in where this character is going to go. So overall, this was such a good, <laughs> such just what I needed tonight. I had a frustrating day editing my previous video. So I just, I really just needed to sit down and just watch something I knew was going to be good. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to follow my channel and hit the notification button to receive notice when I upload a new video and help me figure out the whole YouTube algorithm by hitting the like button. Please feel free to comment on what you thought of my reaction. And if I missed anything important, I love reading what you guys think. Thanks for watching and have a good night.